Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 19. So you can see in the top right hand corner, uh, our money is actually going down quite rapidly. We'll see exactly why that is here in just a moment. Uh, but basically I had some recording troubles and I had intended to start this video a little bit earlier, but now some things have taken place. I didn't realize the, the issues that I had had with the recording until it was too late. So I'm basically going to have to start from where we are. So it's a rare moment here on the farm where we find ourselves in sort of our staging or storage area on the farm that we set up uh, way back in our very first video. You can see our combine is sitting all by its lonesome over there. And we got a little bit of new equipment to talk about. So I wanted to do a couple of things in uh, today's video. First and foremost, I wanted to purchase some new land. So what I did is I went in and purchased field number three. And there you can see our AI worker. He is busy at work planting barley on that field. And in fact, he is almost done. Looks like he is making some great progress there. You can also see that we've got barley on fields one and two for now. I'll probably mix those up from time to time just to keep it fresh um, as we move forward. Not going to worry too terribly much about the money we're getting from uh, any particular crop. Uh, for the most part, we're just going to have some fun with this and it'll break things up to, to grow a little different crop from time to time. Break up the visuals a little bit on the map. And speaking of the map, I want to thank Stefan very much for his comment on a recent video, that comment gave me some help in pronouncing the name of this map. So this particular map, I had actually tried to find some sort of way to pronounce this, some sort of help online, and really wasn't able to find anything. Estancia, I could find, but the rest of it, I really couldn't find. Now, it's probably my fault, and I wasn't searching the proper thing, but I wasn't able to get what I needed, so I simply just gave it my best uh, at what I thought it was. And as I expected, I wasn't really all that close. So we're going to give it another shot today based on uh, Stefan's comment to me. He tried to spell it out as best he could, uh, but I'm an American and I'm a Southerner, so I'm probably going to butcher this pretty bad. But let's give it a shot. Estancia Lapazzo. Or as my brain can wrap its, uh, itself around a lot easier, the South American map. So hopefully I did a little better this time, but if I didn't, I'm sure Stefan will step in and uh, both have some fun with me as well as <laughs> try to help me out going forward. So hopefully Estancia Lapazzo is a little bit better at least than what I've been doing in the past, or at least we can only hope that it is. So let's hop on board with our worker. You can see he is nearly done. Uh, actually, a few more passes in this field, and he will be all finished. And of course, the money that's being used is primarily going toward the fertilizer that he's using, and some of it, of course, to the seeds as well. You can also see I've done a little bit of landscaping in this area. In fact, let's get out of his way here. I want to see how he does pulling around. Okay, the reason I did the landscaping, and that turned out to be pretty good, actually, is by default, there was an extra little bit to the field on, on this top end, the northern end of the field. There was a little extra bit that I got rid of using the landscaping function. And the reason I did that is because by default, he was going well into this other field in order to turn around. And I wanted to try to get rid of that if at all possible. Uh, and in fact, we're gonna do something similar on our other two fields as we progress forward and purchase more fields. But to show you exactly what I did is we'll go into the landscaping and we're actually gonna go, let me pull my menu back up. We're gonna swap over to painting and then I'm going to change the shape. And what I did was I used the brush size of 10 and I simply made a swipe all the way down, uh, changing this particular terrain over to this clay-like material rather than the normal. And you can see if we compare it over here to field two, you can see that that's basically the size that we end up with as we work our way 
uh, around it. In fact, while we're here, there's two things I want to point out. First of all is I'm really disappointed in Farming Simulator 19 with our inability to combine fields. Uh, it would really help me out quite a bit if long term, if we could combine these two fields. Unfortunately, combining these fields as well as, you know, fields uh, north and south really isn't a viable option for the most part. Now, we might get by with it like we did on our previous map, the valley, and we might get by with it enough that it would function. But because of the way the land is divided up and the way you have to purchase land and you can't work land that you don't own, it really doesn't work out as nice and smooth. But as I look down through here, it looks like we might be able to eventually get by combining fields two and three. But of course, in the past, we would have had no issue whatsoever with doing that because we would simply bring out, let's see, I think that's actually lined up fairly good. Oh, we've got the wrong texture in there. And of course, we're running out of money right now, but I'm not terribly worried about that. We'll have some more money before too long. There we go. That'll get our texture a little bit, a little bit better. All right, so it looks like he's actually almost done over there. So we're going to work our way through the rest of this field and probably spend most of the remainder of our money. But this will enable us to fix these fields so that when the AI is working them, as well as me, when I am working these, it'll give us a little bit of wiggle room when we need to turn around before we actually get onto these other fields. Right now, it's not a big issue. Uh, let's see. Let's spin this around. That's actually not bad over here. But I'll tell you what. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and make a swipe down through here again. I don't know because we got a little bit of room in between these fields. And I don't remember the last time we worked this field just how much of this area was used uh, when the AI turn around or when I turn around. So just to be on the safe side, we'll keep it uh, basically in line with our other fields. In fact, let's just get a, a brief look and yeah, that's lined up pretty good. It's certainly good enough for me. So let's back our way out. Let's come back in. This guy is now done. Thank you very much, sir, for your help. We'll put this equipment up and we'll be on our way. So that's going to take care of fields one, two, and three. They all three have barley on them. We'll be back momentarily when it's time to pull out the combine. All right, we're back and it is now harvest time. Unfortunately, we actually lost a full day uh, due to rain. It rained the entire day. And of course, we can't do any combine work in the rain. So I simply had to wait it out. But now we've just gotten our combine started here on field number three and that'll give us an opportunity to come back into our storage area and talk a little bit more about why I purchased uh, this particular tractor. I think this tractor we can actually hook up and use uh, with some field work and I'm just for at least for right now I'm going to actually leave our Massey Ferguson attached to our cedar and let him be our full-time cedar. That's going to help us out uh, quite a bit with time so let's go ahead and grab this particular I think we should have plenty of horsepower to pull this tipper okay fortunately for us we don't have very far to go because field three is right over next to the silo itself so we're going to pull this guy over get him ready to go and then, of course, once we get uh, much closer to being finished working this field, I'll actually bring the other tractor over and get him started so that he can start with the cultivating and the seeding. Okay, so there's our first pass and about 6,300 liters of, of grain he picked up that time by. Now, for some reason, he's going to back. Why is he backing up? this far where is he going 
<laughs> well, that's unexpected. Okay, let's go ahead and, and get rid of him. And I'm not sure where he was going. At first, I thought he was just simply going to back up so that he could turn around. Uh, but uh, that's not what he was doing. So let's see. Let me adjust our camera angle here and back out just a little bit more. And we'll help him out. We'll do a little bit of this work. We'll give him a break for a moment. Maybe he was suffering from heat sickness. But that was very interesting. I certainly was not expecting him to do anything like that. Uh, fortunately for us, though, we were nearby so that we could take over. All right, so as always, I'm going to try to keep this as straight as I can with no promises about the path. All right, this should work out pretty good because as we finish up this pass, I believe that's going to put us in line to empty this guy out because he'll be very close to being full. I'm simply at this point hoping we make it all the way down to the end so that we can turn around and get the pipe in the right direction to stay away from any crop destruction. But it's going to be pretty close. Now, of course, the good news is, even if that doesn't work out, then uh, I can always drive the combine out of the way and line up everything manually, but I would prefer to put the worker back in charge, at least for right now. Just so we can keep things moving along, keep the work flow going, and it does look like we're going to make it, but boy, it's going to be extremely close. I've made some adjustments on the, the wheel and pedal set to try to, uh, for one thing, reduce the amount of force feedback that I get here in this game. It's a bit too much in this game. I actually wish, uh, as I, I think I've mentioned before, I actually wish I had this type of, of strength from the feedback in uh, NASCAR Heat Series. All right, let's see if we can get this guy all lined up fairly well. All right, that's not too bad. Okay, that way he is all set. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can swing around. Another thing I'm probably going to come in and do with... Uh, the landscaping is I'm probably going to come in and get rid of these bushes. Thankfully, there's no collision on these bushes, so you can simply run right through them uh, without any issue. But I would just assume them not be there. Are you serious? I did not get over far enough. Okay, fine. I had a feeling that was going to happen. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and back up plenty far enough. Yeah, there we go. That should help out even me with getting where I need to be. See if we can do this without destroying the combine, please. Yeah, there we go. Almost got over too far that time. All right, so we'll let this guy take care of this, and we'll just actually just leave him sitting there uh, because we got plenty of space in that particular tipper for two loads out of the combine. So very interesting, two passes on field three. And we were full, so very nice. That's one of the advantages of having, having a super big combine. All right, so once again, I have engaged the AI because now I'm really just interested to see what he does when he gets to the end. So we're going to ride along with him here. You can see I didn't quite get him lined up perfectly, but he's not missing anything, and that's the main point. So once again, I would expect to get somewhere around 6,300 liters from this particular pass, somewhere in that neighborhood at least. 
And we got two more fields sitting over there waiting on us. Now, if you look at the top right hand corner, we definitely have a negative balance right now, but we'll take care of that in short order. And then we'll be started with more progress toward purchasing another field and or some more equipment. Because I want to try to work all of these fields as as close together and as simultaneous as I can. Uh, of course, we're going to need some money to do that. But uh, but ultimately, I would love nothing more than to be able to, within the next few videos, be able to work all three of these fields at the same time. And then as we expand uh, more in the future, we'll pick up some new fields to go along with this. But that's at least my current plan for what I want to try to do. Because I would very much enjoy seeing, uh, as we look out over field two and field one, another couple of combines out there working on those fields at the same time. All right, so let's see what he does this time. All right, he's made it to the end. Okay, this time, he, okay, we've already gotten farther than we did last time. He's going to turn around, and it looks like he's going to be just fine this time. So maybe we just had a glitch or something. But, yeah, looks like he's going to be perfectly fine with how he lines himself up this time. I noticed we didn't quite get to our 6,000 number. Just a little bit shy of that, but we were in the neighborhood. All right, I like it. This guy is up and going. And no problems at all from him. All right, I'm going to let him get a little bit further along, a little bit past. Uh, if we take a look at the field itself, we're not quite to halfway. The next pass would actually get us uh, past halfway on the field so that we can get our other worker uh, up and started. Let's go ahead and bring him over and get him in position. We'll stick with Barley for right now, I suppose. All right, let's see if we can get this guy lined up. Don't want to get him started too early or he'll end up catching the combine. All right, there we go. That should be lined up pretty well. Now we'll wait for the combine to get back down. We'll empty him out one more time and then we'll get everybody back up and working. Okay, nearly full grain tank, 80%, which we already knew. All right, let's go ahead and come back around so I can make a little bit better angle of this and try to avoid missing it the way I did the last time. So we're going to pull way out in here. There's some nice land out here. We could put, it's got a gentle roll to it, but I don't think it's going to be too bad about placing Maybe some storage out here. Um, I saw a mod recently that would allow you to add a small pond out there, which, of course, for gameplay mechanics, would work for uh, for water. But for me, I more or less just really like the look of it, and I think it could be a, a nice addition to our farm over the long term and really bring some environment to it. All right, so this will basically be half the field as he works his way on this particular row. Also, I noticed that we're lined up quite a bit better than we were last time. So I'll certainly take that. All right, he should be about empty. Let's see whenever he actually is completely empty. In fact, there you go. He's now completely empty and only, yeah, and only emptying out what he has uh, just cultivated, or excuse me, has just uh, run over. All right, we're gonna set this guy over here to the side because I will actually want to probably go sell that here in just a moment. But first things first, we need to get busy on the field. 
get this guy started again. You can see he's got a wide working width, not the widest of any of the tools. There are some much bigger tools that you can get, and I definitely want to do some of that later on in the gameplay, but for right now, the fields aren't really big enough to make that a necessity. Okay, so with that up and running, we are going to try our hardest to get down there and back to get this barley sold. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Uh, another thing I would love to do in the future, I got a lot of future plans for this thing. We'll see how many of them actually uh, come to fruition, but another one of the things I'd like to do is make a cut through uh, purchase that land sort of in the center there and make a cut through so that we can get back and forth from here to the harbor uh, very easily and a lot quicker. That would certainly help out uh, with the speed of things uh, if and when we get access to course play here in Farming Simulator 19. Very, very much looking forward to that. So we've got basically two, we've got time for the combine to do two rows on the field, or at least field three anyway. Uh, let's take a look, what kind of field we got here? Field 18, that's a pretty small field there. So you wouldn't need much equipment to work that one. It's also not too terribly far from uh, the cell areas. Hey, actually, I think that's the sugar location there where you would sell your sugar cane. All right, so we're making some pretty good time here. Over here to the left, field 31, which is pretty good size. I don't know how many hectares that is, but it is huge. All right, so we, we ought to come up with enough here to get us out of the negative. And we'll see how much beyond that we're actually able to do. There we go. We'll sell off this barley. And again, we are on uh, the easy settings. So that will mean we'll get more money than you would traditionally get. And sure enough, there goes our negative. And it looks like we're going to just make it out. Yep, about $1,000. And of course... Very quickly, we're going to be right back in the negative as our AI workers will use up that $1,000 very quickly. But yeah, I am very interested in a cut through. There's a very nice area right over there next to the uh, the railroad tracks, uh, a nice little house, a little farmhouse there. At first, when I saw it, I actually thought it was going to be a cell point of some sort, or at least storage, uh, but it turns out it's just a decoration. All right, our good luck with the train continues. We didn't have to stop and wait, uh, but you might have noticed in the top right-hand corner that we need to hurry because our combine is nearly full and in fact, by now is probably full. Over here to the left, you can see that's the sell point uh, both for your hay and straw as well as uh, for your animals. So a pretty tight area in there if you're trying to bring a trailer through there of any size. It's a pretty tight fit. All right, so once again, we'll use the cut through over next to field three rather than going right through the main entrance to the farm or even the secondary entrance that we're about to come up to on the left-hand side. So now I'm interested to see where the combine is. Is he in fact... Yes, he has pointed the right direction for us. You can see him there in the distance. The pipe is on the correct side so that we don't have to worry about uh, any crop destruction. All right, so now we need to get him back underway. It does appear as though we're going to have some pretty good timing with our second worker on the field. 
he's coming along quite nicely, but is in no immediate danger of catching up to the combine. So it looks like he might have about one and a half full passes left to go until he's done with this field. That's farther than I thought he was going to get uh, on the field. All right, 7,500, 8,000. He should be about done here in just a moment. Then we'll get out of his way, let him get back to work. There we go, 14,000. And let's see, let's go ahead and cut down through this way. I do not want to drive over our freshly seeded land even though I don't think it would actually uh, hurt anything for these purposes, I don't want to get in a habit of doing that. Alright, so we're going to get a nice amount of money out of the harvest of this particular field. So I'm going to bring this guy over and just sort of set him out of the way for right now. Because we're going to hop back into the combine here and... Okay, let's take over for the worker, let's go ahead and lower. Go ahead and turn the combine back on, and we're off. Okay, thankfully here I don't have to worry too much about going straight because our very last pass on this field will be very minor. I like a low stress environment when we're farming. Last thing I want to do is create a high stress environment when all we're trying to do is make a little money here. Make a little money, expand the farm, live the dream. That's pretty much what it's all about. Our tractor over here is making us look bad because he's certainly going a good bit faster than we are, probably about double the speed. All right, let's don't veer off course. Try to keep my eye on the ball here. But ultimately, I do have a have at least a goal. I'm not sure how long it would take to get there, and I'm certainly not going to uh, put off other things, such as expanding the number of farms and so on, uh, to make it happen. But I would love to have dedicated equipment for each of the fields. And if not necessarily each of the fields, then maybe for every other field. So if we have four fields, then I'd like very much to have at least two combines and two other sets of tractors for the other uh, activities. All right, there we go. It looks like the curvature of this particular field is not really going to be an issue. All right, once again, let's lower and let's get started. One thing I don't like is having to use uh, the break as reverse. Uh, I don't like that at all. That is not intuitive to me in the least. All right, so we've got a little bit of an uphill climb here. Let's adjust our camera. All right, so as we finish up this field, what I'm going to do uh, as we finish up this video as well, I'm actually going to go ahead and work these other two fields. I'll get them uh, both harvested as well as seeded once again. And then next time we get back together, hopefully we'll have an opportunity to purchase some more equipment and work a little bit more toward that goal of having dedicated equipment for each field or every other field. But once again, we're going to end up with about two-thirds of a tank uh, as far as the combine is concerned so not bad certainly over half and somewhere around two-thirds by the time we're done so very nice that's going to give us even more money and the more money we can get the better now at some point i'll want to pay off the uh, the loan amount that is currently outstanding but for right now the biggest thing I'm concerned with is getting us up and going. 
the lone will just have to wait. All right, there we go. We'll get the combine. I'll actually go around uh, this way so we can get him emptied out before he starts on the other field. And I'm going to go ahead and put the pipe out. All right, do we have enough room to get through here is the real question. We're going to try to make it work. So I guess the answer to that question is... Yes, the answer to that question is yes, we do have just enough room. Now it's certainly the <laughs> not the most efficient use of space. I'm sure there aren't too many farmers that would take a look at this and say, oh yeah, I love to run the header of my combine through all the bushes. I, it just does wonders for it. All right, there we go. So now we've got him all done. Let's bring him over and get him started on field two. There we go, hire our worker, and we are off and running. Our, our cedar is nearly done. He won't have too terribly much longer before he'll have field three taken care of, and by that time, it'll be an opportunity to get him started on field two. So everything is working out great as far as the timing. I'm gonna take this down to the harbor, get it sold, and get a, some more money back in our account. That's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned as we will continue our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 19.